Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. In this video, I want to talk about different types of microscopes that you want to consider purchasing uh, for your homeschooling or for your science program. I have three different types. Uh, the one that I would say try to avoid is this one here. And the rest is great if you have the budget for it. Let's get started. All right, so you want to purchase a microscope that is decent and you don't want to break the bank either. So somewhere between 100 to 400 is reasonable for a good lab microscope. Okay, now the one thing I would first consider is the one that you want to avoid, which is this one here, okay? I know this, there's tons of these online and in stores, and this is the one that you don't want to purchase. Now, the, this particular one, this student or kids microscope, generally is not very good. Like, very small as you can see here. In addition, most of them are made of plastic. Thank goodness this one's actually made of uh, metal, but still I would not consider buying it if I had to buy it again. Even though it's around 40, 50 bucks, I would still avoid paying for that type of price. The reason for this is because the objective lens, as you can see here, the outside is made of plastic. The inside, I'm not sure if it's plastic or it's actually glass for the lens. And the ocular lens here, the monocular lens, is also not bad for this one it's not bad but for other ones I have seen is pretty bad in addition uh, the type of uh, lighting that they provide is either a mirror or they use a very weak LED light powered by batteries now generally um, the mirror definitely you want to avoid because there's not enough light going into the um, objective lens and into the ocular lens so you can see the image. Avoid that because unless you shine uh, a very bright light directly to the mirror and goes directly to the objective lens, that's fine. But generally you don't have that type of ability to refocus the light. So the next thing of course, getting the LED lights. Now, the LED light that comes with these typical type of plastic microscope, the kids microscope here, is not very good either. So when <laughs> the kids are uh, learning from this type of microscope, they can have a bad experience. They're gonna, I can't see any cells or I cannot see that tissue that you're referring to. Okay, so that's the thing. You don't want the kids to realize that, oh, what am I looking at? Um, you want them to have the best experience as possible. And so you wanna get the best microscope. So for this one, what I end up doing, this is still not bad. I would say borderline almost like I would not buy it if I have to purchase again. Um, now this one is a bit better quality because it's metal and I did modify uh, the lighting system. You can see here, I actually put in um, the LED flashlight in here. Now I had to raise the, uh, the base here with wood so that it would be higher. And so now you have light shining from the LED light. Flashlight is very bright. Now if I put a slide on it, it's able to see much, much clearer, okay? So more lights, that's a key, that's the same thing with photography, right, or videography. If you have more light, you're gonna get a better image, okay? As long as you control, for example, you know, how much contrast there is in the image as well. You might wanna adjust it lower, the, if it's too bright, you wanna bring it that down as well, okay? So that's the only thing that I cannot control here, it's just turn on and turn off, all right? Usually a more sophisticated microscope, you can actually dial in how bright you want it, all right? But for this one, like I said, uh, the problem is more of not enough light than too much light. So if you are going to purchase this for around $30, $40, uh, make sure you might want to modify the uh, light going into the microscope. But I would say avoid it like a plague. Don't buy these kids' uh, microscope. Even if it's cheap, even 20 bucks, I would still not purchase it unless it comes with the, uh, you know, kid slides and everything else. But even that, I think it's a junk. Uh, you don't want to... <laughs> get that type of experience for, your, for those people who are starting out to do biological science. Um, what I would suggest you buy, of course, is this entry-level microscope. This one you see it on Amazon, on eBay, and you can get it around $130, I believe. But for me, I wouldn't purchase it if it's more than $100, okay? $120, the max, $100. So you wanna look for a discount somehow, maybe $100. And even this microscope is just an entry level, just making it, okay? Now the reason why this is not bad is because the whole structure is made of metal, okay? So that's not bad. With exception to this handle here, it's actually plastic here for handling, and the knobs here are uh, plastic, all right? But what I like about this microscope is that it is uh, battery powered as well as the AC powered, so you have these two choices. 
and you have ability to control the light. So you have uh, brightness and uh, lowering the brightness of that uh, light coming from here to the objective lens to the ocular lens. This is known as the monoocular compound microscope, right? It's a decent microscope for starting out students. The image quality is just okay. It's not the best. For $100, that's, I guess that's what you expect for this type of uh, technology. Now, if you can get it cheaper, that'd be great. But if that's your budget, yes, this is the microscope I would say uh, starting out, this is the uh, microscope you want to get. Now, on the website, they're saying this thing can go 2,000 times. I would say that's a lie, okay? Normally, a uh, light microscope, the best resolving power is around uh, 1,200, if that, right? It, it has to do with the best optic lens, uh, best ocular lens. So ideally, if you can get 1,000 times with oil immersion type of objective lens, then I say that's really good, okay? So when they're trying to advertise that's 2,000 times, avoid it with a plague. Or consider the fact that that is not the right um, description. In fact, these type of microscope, if you're lucky, you can get it around 400 to 800 times in magnification and resolving quality type of image. If you can get that, that's great, okay? So this type of microscope, you can get about 400 to 800 times. I think that's a, a good deal. Avoid that as the sinks uh, 2,000 times. It's even the best microscope can't do 2,000 times with even the best type of uh, objective lens and ocular lens, okay? So that's the thing with the advertisement. I don't know why Amazon and other online company allow that kind of advertisement. That is just false, okay? But knowing that you're gonna get a microscope for about $100, magnification is around four to 800 times, I think that's a good buy. Now, of course, if you have the budget, I would go with the type of microscope here. Actually, I have two of them because I like it so much. Now, normally, uh, it's just the binocular type of microscope without this uh, extra ocular tube here. Actually, this one is called triocular uh, microscope. And same thing as this one. This is trinocular uh, microscope, both of them. And the reason why I purchased this trinocular uh, microscope is the fact that it has this tube here, allow me to put a camera onto it, right? This is great because if you're showing, uh, let's say the class, uh, the image, they can also look at in a big screen as well. Or if you don't wanna use uh, these two lens here, these ocular lens, they can actually see uh, almost like a three dimensional structure to the tissue or the cell, okay? So because this is a stereoscope, you can actually see almost like a three dimensional image on the slide. Yeah, I really like these microscope. Now, of course, the cost of this microscope is like 400 to $500. So that's a lot of money, okay? So, but it's worth it. I have to tell you why uh, this is a good microscope and why it's worth it for $400, $500 is because you have a stage that has this uh, X and Y uh, slide control, okay? So you allow, if you put a slide in here, you allow the slide to be moved back and forth just by a knob, right? Adjusting knob here and without uh, moving too much. Whereas this type of microscope, for example, is a clip on for the slide and you have to manually move the slide, which is not great for, you know, like you want to fine tune that movement. Whereas this one, you can fine tune that movement just using the uh, knobs and you can move a little bit. Let's say, if, let's say it was a protest or some kind of single cell organism that's floating around and being able to move it and refine that movement on the slide X and Y axis is great. In addition, you can see that this microscope actually have a coarse adjustment knob and a fine adjustment knob, allow you to really focus on the image, right? To get a sharp image. In addition, of course, you have these two ocular lens that give you that stereoscopic view of the slide. You might even see that kind of like three dimensional image on the slide. And what I like about it is that you can install a camera here, a DSLR camera, mirrorless camera into this uh, microscope and you allow the class to see it. Of course, you know, you're paying a lot for this type of microscope that you're looking at about four or five dollars. So yes, uh, but I would say I'd rather have two of this than eight of this, okay? So rather have two of this than eight of that. And forget about this one if you compare this one to these microscope, okay? The, uh, the quality image on this microscope is just superb. It's, it is what it's supposed to be, right? It's what you see, it's what you get, rather than when you're talking about these type of microscope, 
you barely see the image. There's a lot of light interference in this microscope though, so the image is not resolved properly. So I would say avoid it unless you can modify the light and don't expect more than 50 times to 200 times resolving power. Forget about that. Okay, if the budget is limited, okay, you may want to consider this one, maybe purchase one or two of these. And then in the future, if you do have the budget, definitely go for this one, right? one or two of these for your class, okay? I'm talking about maybe a class size of like uh, four to eight students, maybe four students per microscope for this type, and maybe um, two to three students for this type of microscope, and forget about this one. This is just a toy, so unless you don't have the money, then that's what you want to do, modify the light, all right? Hopefully that's helpful for you when you're purchasing a microscope, if you're starting homeschooling, or you know you want to start a science program, like a summer science program for people who want to uh, enjoy science, like life science, for example. These are the type of microscope that you may want to purchase. Looking at different type of microorganism, you know, God's creation, how all these things come together, right? The beautiful design of these cells and, and single cell organism. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a little heart of appreciation. Bye.